Uh, so this piece has a lot of different emotions going on. It's really got a mixture of uh, sadness, hopefulness, and so the piece is incredibly moving. My name is Jason Schott. I am an organist and I'm also an engineering student here at ECU. East Carolina University has an agreement here with St. Paul's Episcopal Church so that students that are enrolled in the organ program can practice here. Also the School of Music has concerts here. I think a lot of people when they think of the organ they think of maybe a funeral parlor. The organ is also capable of a wide variety of repertoire. It really is like having an orchestra at your fingertips. And this piece has a very different sound at the beginning, but it uses this instrument in a different way. When you look at it, you see about 30 pipes in the facade, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Behind the facade, we have over 3,000 pipes. With the piano, you have 88 keys. With the organ, we have 61 note manuals or keyboards. And so this organ has three 61 note manuals and one 32 note pedal board. So in addition to those, we have stops that control the sounds. They've got names like basson, trumpet, clarion. Here we have strings, which are pretty prominently featured in this piece. But this piece doesn't use these reeds, but that's another sound we have available. High-pitched fluty sounds, like uh, maybe something, something like this. To, in the pedal, we have something called the Contra Bombard, which really, you know, sounds like there's road work going on outside. It hardly sounds musical, but in the right context, it can be effective. My goal is to be able to pursue both engineering and music so that I can uh, continue to serve in the church and use the skills that I've worked so hard to develop. <laughs>